Rufus Henry McDaniel wrote the words of the hymn, What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. I want us to think in Luke's gospel some of the homes that Jesus visited when he was upon this earth and what happened there. First of all, in Luke's gospel chapter 5, we have the story of Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. The Lord Jesus called Matthew that day to follow him. And the Bible says that he left all, rose up and followed Jesus. And friend, for you to be saved, you've got to leave your sin and your past and get it under the blood to follow Jesus Christ. Now, Matthew's life was changed that day because the Bible said that he made a great feast in his own house and there was a great company of publicans and others that sat down with him. And so Matthew was totally unashamed of his saviour and he wanted some of his former friends to know about Jesus too. But you know, the scribes and Pharisees, they started to murmur because Jesus had sat down with publicans and sinners. But you know, the word of God says that Jesus replied, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Because you see, there are none righteous, no, not one. And we all have sinned. Matthew's life was changed and received Jesus into his home. And then we turn to the seventh chapter of the book of Luke's gospel. And Simon the Pharisee invites the Lord Jesus to come in and sit down at meat with him. The Savior did. And then we find that as he sat there, it was customary at those times that during the banquets that outsiders could hover around and they could listen to what was going on and watch. And then the word of God tells us that a woman walked in who was a sinner. This woman walked in carrying an alabaster box of precious ointment. And as she listened, then she moved quietly to the feet of Jesus and she knelt down and she washed the Saviour's feet with her tears. She, she dried them with her hair. Then she kissed them. And then she opened that precious box of ointment and she poured them over the feet of Jesus. Simon, he was surprised. You know, he saw this woman was a sinner, but so was he. But he saw her sin, but he didn't see his own. And he said concerning Jesus, this man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him. She is a sinner. But that day the Lord Jesus turned to the woman and said, Thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. She was changed in Simon's house, but he wasn't. And then we turn to Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. The Lord Jesus enters into Bethany. And the Bible tells us that Martha received Jesus into her house. She and Mary sat at the feet of Jesus, listening to what the Saviour had to say. And then Martha got up. And her mind started to wander because she was concerned about preparing and serving the meal for Jesus. And Mary sat on. Martha complained. But the Lord Jesus gently rebuked Martha that Mary had chosen the better part. You know, Martha's life was changed that day because whenever you read in John's Gospel, chapter 12, Martha is serving again in that home, but there's no complaint, for thank God she had learned the lesson and the counsel of the Master. And then in Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, the Lord Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. He enters into Jericho and passes through. There's a little man that wants to see Jesus, but friend, that day Jesus was seeking him. He hid up that tree, but the Saviour stopped. And this is what he said to him. He said, Zacchaeus, come down, for today I must abide at thy house. You know, the Lord Jesus invited 
himself into the home of Zacchaeus. And they went home together. And Zacchaeus had fellowship with the Lord. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 11, we have the story of another Pharisee. He invites the Lord Jesus to dine with him and his friends. But friend, this was not to learn from Christ or to listen to him, but rather to accuse him, to find fault with him. What a blessed opportunity to have their lives changed. The Saviour left that home and not one of their lives were changed. Revelation 3 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Listen, he's at the door of your life. Have you received him? Is your life changed? I trust it is. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. From my heart to yours, home to yours. God bless you.